I'm with Bogut Schuntest from LifeGate Rehabilitation. Now, Bogut, what is LifeGate? We are an institution for the rehabilitation of children and young people with disabilities. And um, we are welcoming these people. The name LifeGate is actually the aim of this institution. The gate is wide open to welcome people um, the way they are. And then we um, start with a little evaluation program. And then they are welcomed in a kindergarten, in a school for children with special needs or in our vocational training center. And while they are here with us, we also have an intensive um, outreach to the families of the children because we think that the work we do in the institution has to reach the society. We are working since years for a better life situation for people with disabilities in the Palestinian areas. And we include the parents in this work because um, they are the ones where the children live and uh, they are the ones who are the messengers actually for other parents that children with disability can have a future in this country. Mm. We develop the people ac according to the holistic approach. That means in LifeGate we are looking in all the areas of a child's life, family, living situation. Um, then we start with, of course, with uh, um, our kindergarten and school program, which includes that the children uh, gain knowledge. Um, we um, provide in the institution all the therapies the children might need, an excellent medical care with the help of hospitals in Israel. Um, mainly all of our children will be seen by a team of doctors in a specialized hospital in Jerusalem. And um, the nice uh, thing also with this um, medical work in LifeGate is that Palestinian families meet Israeli doctors and they make this experience and these doctors are very open for their issues. They treat their children well and, and they really help that these families can have a better life with their disabled children. And um, the, the, the other part is the, the social um, learning and the inclusion of disabled people in the society. As society here is not yet ready accepting uh, children and young people with disabilities easily, we have many programs in the institutions where we invite not disabled people to come to share our programs with the disabled people. And we, we have uh, very nice results that say that we see that after some maybe some, um, some start where people look at each other and don't know what, 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 what to expect from each other. They, they start knowing each other, they start to become friendly, becoming friends, and then the disability is not seen anymore. Now, you actually have a basketball team here at LifeGate. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, uh, that is an initiative which was brought to us um, five years ago by the uh, Shimon Paris Peace Center. Shimon Paris, the former uh, president of Israel, um, is since many years um, a man who was very active in, in conciliation between reconciliation between Palestinians and, and Israelis. And he um, founded this uh, peace center located in Jaffa at the Mediterranean uh, coast. And, um, and this center is helping many Palestinian organizations um, to have access to Israel and, um, and, and to build up relationship with similar um, Israeli activities. And we were asked by this institute uh, five years ago um, if we could think about um, cooperating in disabled sports. And as in Israel there is um, a huge uh, movement for wheelchair basketball, they mentioned to us uh, this, uh, this sport. And, um, and as we were very open for this approach, uh, disabled sport in general, but wheelchair basketball here in particular, um, we started a program. We start training ourselves. Um, we received a lot of help from the Paris Center. They gave us coaches. They, uh, they uh, provided us sports wheelchairs. And um, so we started training. And um, after a while, we came together with um, disabled people from Israel um, for friendly games. And we, from the beginning, we mixed the teams. We never played Palestinians against Israelis, what's the situation all the time in the country. We played in two mixed teams. And, um, and we not just played basketball, we had translators with us and um, we were talking to each other and we brought something to eat and we shared the food and we shared a, a very good time with each other. Mm. 
And over the years, the, this project was constructed for three years. After three years, we were all called to Paris Center and they, uh, they announced uh, sadly that is the end of the program. And both groups with the parents involved who, who often shared the games, Palestinian and the Israeli parents, um, said this can't be. Three years far not enough. And then the parents said, but we cannot help with budgets anymore. And so both groups decided to do their own fundraising. And the fact is the Paris Center did not drop out completely. So we were able to keep, uh, to keep on meeting. Um, and, um, and this basketball initiative lives now since five years. And uh, one of the highlights was actually this year, while the partner city of Beit Jala, where we are located, um, near Bethlehem, um, in Germany is Belgisch Gladbach. And this um, city had an anniversary and, um, and they actually invited our basketball team to come to join this feast and they took care of all the expenses. So we asked them, could we bring other, our Israeli friends? And they said, really, now after the Gaza war, this was in uh, the end of September, um, this event, um, really, you want to come with Israeli people together? We said, yes, we're playing since five years, we know each other well. And we think that is the right moment to show that, that there is another option than war in this area of the world. And, uh, and uh, they agreed. And um, the people who did all the, the plan for the games in Germany, they put Palestine, Israel, uh, Colonia, uh, you know, German games, uh, teams we played against. And we, we uh, corrected them and said, it's not Palestine, Israel, we are one team. Yeah, and they said, how, how comes? It can't be. They said, yes, we are one team. You can make two teams out of us, but two mixed teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, till they uh, received this idea, it took a little bit time. Then they changed all the, the plan. And, um, and um, after this five days, um, let's say both teams came back very happy. They had a good time together and also in the hotel. They had some sightseeing program and they had many games. We lost everyone, <laughs> but uh, never mind. Um, we had fun, and um, and the German people were very, very surprised, mm -hmm. and on the same time very happy, because th that is an encouragement that really the conflict here in the country is not only black and white. Mm -hmm. There are many people who would like to live together, and they can live together. And one of our um, that this initiative showed that this is possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it difficult for them to come together when there is a situation like the war in Gaza? Um, yes, in this time we, um, let's say, uh, the, the media do everything that people sitting in their homes and they are afraid um, going somewhere. Um, when, when there's too, too much unrest, uh, either in Israel or in the Palestinian area, um, of course the other side um, is fearing for their safety. And, um, and very often then such programs come to an interruption or to an hold, but you know, um, we keep we keep being uh, in touch with each other, yeah. And um, and the thing is that um, also just um, a few weeks ago, we had our yearly um, summer camp at the Lake of Galilee in an area um, called Tapka, where is uh, the miracle of the bread and the fish. Mm. And um, there is an area um, e equipped for wheelchair drivers from an, a monastery, a located a monastery there, Benedictine monastery. And, and LifeGate um, goes since many, many years to this uh, place, and we meet there a group of disabled people from Israel as well. Mm. And we spend um, a week together, and this is a time where they celebrate in Israel the, feat, the Feast of um, Tabernacles, where the nation of Israel is building boots, and they, they is a memory, um, let's say, about the Israelis left Egypt, mm. and in this uh, walk, till they reached the promised land um, 40 years, there were, they had no uh, houses. They, they built uh, temporary uh, boots and they lived in this. And at um, the uh, same time, this is uh, the feast of the harvest because we are on the end of the, the harvest season and uh, yeah. the, the harvest was uh, given to the uh, temple and uh, presented to God. And uh, so all this we, we celebrated together and um, and um, it was um, it's every year a very nice experience to see also here that um, people from both sides with the team um, accompanying them preparing this week 
um, being there, having really a good time together. And I was there in the last evening and um, I saw many tears uh, in the eyes of our people and the Israeli people. And everybody uh, says, I hope we see you again next year because this is unfortunately just a yearly event. Mm. Um, so um, that's happened in Tapka. And, um, and um, let's say the war and the differences um, and, and the also the daily, um, the daily negative news, which, which um, affect us, of course, um, don't play a role especially when we go together to to also to places which are somehow nice and where where you where you can also from the outside uh, surrounding forget a little bit where you are living in mm. yeah mm. is this quite unique bringing palestinians and israelis together um i can say that unfortunately um, um you will find in both societies a lot of people who do not like that the Palestinian side, unfortunately, it's it's like this that um, that there are many uh, preconditions, let's say, um, um, which should be met by Israel before you go into any normalization process. Mm. And in Israel, you find many people they are simply afraid, or they say, "Look, these are our enemies. They want that we uh, le leave this country." Um, and um, and so uh, wh why uh, we should have anything to do with these people who actually hate us. Mm. And, and, um, and unfortunately, these people think on both sides. This is unfortunately often planted in the hearts of the children. Mm. And, um, and then it grows. And, um, and then people uh, make really uh, sometimes negative experience with each other. And this is uh, confirmation of this, what they learned before from, from the other uh, side. Mm. Um, we believe in LifeGate since years that just where people meet in a in a normal way as human beings, and and with an openness to get um, to get the other side known, and um, and maybe also with activities who are who are helping, let's say that you know each other without putting each other in any box and in any category, um, that this could can be a new beginning. And and that's actually what's happening in our activities with both sides. But I can say, from the official government side and from society, it's not much wanted. Mm. And um, you you can you you might also have sometimes really disturbances or accusations when you when you do such programs. But thanks God, we are somehow till now on the safe side. Mm. So, are there any other programs that you do that bring them both together? LifeGate is receiving since many years. Uh, professional help and for our staff teams let's say our therapists have meetings on a regular basis with colleagues from Israel in development programs our team is now settled for a visit in Hadassah hospital in Jerusalem to meet the, the complete therapy department physical therapy and occupational therapy um, um, we have a, a quite strong relationship with another Israeli institution where we participate in their courses. We, we see on, in the field of rehabilitation work that um, in Israel we can find also many Arabic people who are very skilled in this work and we are lacking these people here in the Palestinian areas. So we benefit through organizations who help us to finance that these people can come here and give lectures and be in our classrooms and be in our therapy sessions. So we benefit a lot from these people. And, um, and that is another bridge, let's say, in our, what our team has between uh, Palestine and Israel. Yes. Wow, that's great. And it's showing that both sides, that each side are human as well, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks God, in our field of work with uh, people with special needs, um, they are there are very open-minded people and very open hearts, and um, and um, and I say sometimes uh, uh, in a funny way, if you would leave the peace uh, agreements to the disabled people in this area of the world, maybe we would see some better results than uh, what politics is presenting us till today. Yeah. So what's your prayer finally for disabled people and uh, for bringing them together, Palestinians and Israelis? Yeah. Um, we, would, we, we pray and we wish that the little example we can, we can show um, in our work uh, will bear fruit uh, a little bit more in both societies. Why? Because, as I already said, the parents are joining the basketball teams very often. So Palestinian parents meet Israeli parents. 
and um, and the group of people, um, let's say, around our disabled people is is not small. And I hope that um, like uh, like the flu can be given from one to the other, that also here there will be something you know that 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 is spreading more widely, and that this experience and this sometimes brainwash which is put in children and young people's heart about the other side, will be taken away by the good experience they make with the other side, mm. and uh, these good examples need to grow. And um, unfortunately, um, in the news and in the, in, in the media, um, this side um, is, is not covered very well. Mm -hmm. What's covered is the side where the two sides hurting each other very much, which is unfortunately also here. But as Christians, we, I can see, we, can, we, we see something ahead which, which is going to come because we know there is a peace plan for, for this land and for the whole world, um, which our Lord um, already fulfilled. We can live it already because he lives inside us. And that is our hope that this message also will be spread and that we can touch many people's hearts. Okay, Bogut, thank you very much. You're welcome.